Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so would I recommend longer hair for men? Would I recommend it? Hmm, let me think. Well, do you know what? You think that that would be an easy question to ask, uh, answer rather. But in s some days, I think we can we can have a hairstyle, can't we? And wouldn't it just be nice to have one day you've got a hairstyle for that particular day, how you're feeling. The next day you've got another hairstyle for how you want to feel that day. Or if you're going in for a meeting or an interview or you need to be professional, wouldn't it just be amazing just to do that? But would I recommend longer length hair? Yes, I absolutely would. But... However, what I would say is that you do have to be prepared for quite a lot of things. So I've got hair now, which I'm just being able to get back into like that man sort of top knot type of style, whatever you want to call it. And that to me is an absolute godsend because what I do is I, I keep my sides short. Now I'm due for a haircut again now to get these back shorter, but I have an undercut. So I have this and I have a bit of an angled line right the way down to a bit of an arrow at the back. So it's a bit of a nice feature. If I wear my style out like this, I wear hearing aids. I've got a hearing aid in each ear. I haven't right now. I've taken them out because anybody who wears hearing aids will know that when it's just you or if I'm, for example, on my channel now, it's really like taking off a pair of shoes after a very long, busy day. It's that relief. So when I don't need them and I take them out, it's just that real nice relief. So there we go. I do have, I, my hearing's not very good without them, um, but it's really nice sometimes just to experience that feeling without having hearing aids in. So that's what I'm doing now. So longer hair for me, that's what motivated me to grow my hair, actually. I was really self-conscious, and this is quite sad in a way, isn't it? But I, I've learned with the issues. I've had hearing problems now for getting on nearly 15 years, um, and I'm 28. Um, so it's it's been most of my life, to be quite honest with you, I've had hearing problems, I've had problems with um, balance and all sorts of things. As I have something, I have a question mark, which the doctors have always never been 100% sure, but it's many years disease, which I have a lot of problems with, with balance in the inner ear, that type of thing. And it, it's horrible. I have several attacks of it throughout the year and it's horrible. But what motivated me of growing out longer hair was my hearing aids. I didn't want to see them anymore. I didn't want everybody. And it was just that's the thing I noticed all the time. Um, now, my mum has always, always said to me, and I have, I have, I'm so blessed in this life. I have incredible parents, but my mum, bless her, always said, your hearing is a part of you. Your hearing aids are a part of you. It does not change the person you are. My mum always says, the lovely person you are. <laughs> but um, I know, absolutely, it doesn't. And my nan used to say the same thing to me, bless her. And, um, and do you know what? Now, when I don't see them and I've got the hair there to cover it up, it makes me feel comfortable and confident. OK, but when I wear a style like this and I've got my hearing aids in, it doesn't worry me. But it's because I've got that option of being able to cover them up when I have a day where I'm a little bit more self-conscious. So that's what I would say to you. Growing out longer hair as a man gives you more options. You can slick it back like this into a real nice smart. Now, I could wear this in a suit. I could wear this with a nice shirt, skinny jeans, Chelsea boots. I could be out smart, formal, whatever meeting, um, going out for a nice meal, whatever, really, really nice and smart. However, if I want to take the time and I want to actually blow dry the hair out um, and then pass a straightener through, it looks super cool. All off to one side, that's in my last clip, actually. You can see the style I created there. Do have a look at that. Um, and, and that's really great. So it does give you that, that sort of versatility of that options of being able to style your hair in many different ways. That's another thing. The thing which I would absolutely say to uh, people uh, thinking of wanting to grow their hair out is, it does take a lot longer. It does take a lot longer ultimately to style your hair. If you're doing it like this, literally a couple of minutes and you're done. If you're doing it the other way and you're wearing it straight or if you're wearing it into a different style, then it does because you have to prep the hair. You have to look after the hair. And that's another thing I didn't actually take into an account. Now I have highlights grown out in my hair, but Longer hair, of course, needs more looking after. It needs more nourishment. It needs more care. And it certainly needs more understanding. Because when you have longer length hair, the hair from your root, of course, is new growth. Not a problem. The hair, which now for me is touching my shoulders at the back and just past my chin in the front, it's drier at the end. 
So it takes a lot more nourishment. It takes a lot more time. So things like conditioners, things like damage conditioners, leave-in oils, leave-in conditioner sprays, you need to start. For the hair to be healthy, okay, the odd haircut here and there, but not all the time if you're growing out longer hair, because ultimately you're then going to take so much longer to achieve that growth, and actually you're cutting off hair growth. So I would stay away from so many haircuts and really invest in looking after that length of hair, whether it be leave-in oils, whether it be uh, conditioning sprays. Now, I know this is... A little bit more of a feminine area but to be quite honest with you having great looking healthy hair is not feminine having great healthy looking shiny hair is for men and women okay there are certain products which of course are aimed to women's hair now i try them to be quite honest with you because it means absolutely nothing in this world why would it it's just a hair product but you do have to take into account that you do need to use more products to look after your hair if you're growing out longer length hair and of course that time when it takes it's not just if you're not a morning person i am a morning person i'm up first thing in the morning i start work for six o'clock in the morning monday to friday my weekends sometimes a little bit later um but i'm up super early all the time i don't particularly sleep very well throughout the night either so i don't need that much sleep at all to function fine um some people if they're not a morning person then and you're rushing out the door to work or rushing out wherever you've got to be, longer length hair probably, I would say, is not going to be for you because it's not just a quick flick through with hair gel uh, spiking up in the front and you're out the door. When you've got long length hair, when you wake up in the morning, no matter how I style my hair, and I, and I do style my hair, smart of an evening. And I say that, I don't mean with hairspray, free spray, what have you. I mean, I spray a leave-in spray and I, and I suck it back like this, nice and smart. I guarantee you, time I wake up in the morning, it does not look like this. And I don't even spend that much time in bed sleeping, to be quite honest with you. I don't know how it happens, but it's just one of those things. So really, I would kind of, it's, it's, it's a, it's a difficult one. It really, really is a difficult one. If you're wanting to try to grow longer length hair as well, that growing out stage is difficult as well. I remember when the hair length was here and just bridged with my nose. That is so difficult because the styles, you have to sort of do so much more styling for it to look good, I find. If you're somebody who can just leave it, then amazing. I'm not. I, I'm known in my family for having great stylish hair all the time. That's not me being vain, that's just because I have an interest in hair and everybody knows me for that pompadour style with lots of volume in the front. Look back on my channel, I've got some clips there which you'd be able to find out the styles and things I'm looking at. But as my hair is growing longer, I'm finding that it, it does give you a whole kind of new characteristic to your hair. And it opens up so many different sort of uh, elements of style, elements of sort of you can look at colour, you can look at highlights, you can go with the seasons, how you're feeling. Um, it really does open up a whole host of ideas for having longer length hair. How long you want to go, of course, is all around timing, what length you want to achieve. For me, I want to get just past my chin in the front and then in the back, probably probably just so it just brushes off my shoulder's shoulder. I don't want any longer than that. I know some men have crazy length hair, but to me, I'll be honest, I wouldn't have the patience with it. And for how much styling I do to my hair, it probably wouldn't be amazingly healthy. Because of course, you have to remember, anything to your ear is a year, anything longer than that, you can imagine. So anything to your ear is a year, to your shoulders is probably about two years, if not two and a half, maybe three in some cases for some people. Everybody's hair is different. Um, and then of course, density you have to think of as well. If you've got fine, sort of quite see-through length hair, bearing in mind it can still look absolutely great on men and women, okay, but if you're a man and you're thinking of growing your hair out longer and it's really, really fine, the longer your hair gets, the finer it will look in the root, okay? So, you have to have the right know-how skill to style it. So if you're growing it longer, you can't necessarily then just leave it for it to look full and thick and healthy and really, really great. Okay. I'm not saying that hair is just left can't look great because it certainly can. But for that type of hair to look great, you do have to have a little bit of styling, I find, because just as a man, when you're growing out hair and perhaps it's perhaps to ear level, mid-ear level here, and you've got finer in the root, then the hair can look finer in the root here, and then it gets a bit stringy, a bit piecey. Well, that, does that look great? When you could have a short, flicky, sort of real stylish style, a bit of a fringe off to the side, short and flicky, that looks really, really cool and dense, and it's easy. Whereas if you are growing out that length of hair, just have that sort of mind frame there that, okay, I'm going to have to do a little bit more styling if my hair's on the finer side. It's the same with thick hair. If it's thick and unruly and it's just everywhere, then you're not just going to be able to leave it because you're going to have a huge bundle of hair. So it really is what to do and what's best for your lifestyle. So growing out longer hair is based on 
choice of life, uh, choice of what you want to do. Does it fit your lifestyle? Does it fit you? And finally, does it suit you? Longer length hair. When I first started doing it, I didn't think it was going to suit me. It does now, but I would be lying if sometimes I don't have a day where I think to myself, God, I'm not feeling particularly great. My head's not feeling amazing because I've got that balance issue which I live with in the background. My hearing's not amazing. The last thing I want to do is be styling my hair. Some days I look at my hair and I, and I pass a straightener through and I'm on a more, more sort of done out to go out with uh, friends or family, uh, brothers, my mum or, or what have you. And then you, in the, especially in the winter, you've got that scarf, that sort of long trench coat. It looks really, really cool, especially when it's just now for me, just touching the shoulders and it just starts to flick off the shoulders. That looks really, really super cool. You know, that really, um, that kind of look like the Keith Urban style hairstyle. I absolutely love that. I really, really do. Um, think his hairstyle is really, really cool. And I do sometimes kind of explore with that type of hairstyle, but I like the Brad Pitt longer length hairstyle where it's brushed back and it's just touching his shoulders. That to me looks really, really cool. And that's kind of the whole inspiration of my hair style now going ahead. So that's what I'm kind of looking for. When we come to the uh, the Christmas period, I may well have a look at having some lighter bits put through my hair. I'm not sure. I may even turn my hair a bit darker. I'm not sure at the moment, but having longer hair, it really is a personal choice. It opens up a whole window of opportunity, of course, of how you want to style your hair, but of course it has to be right for you. There are days, as I say, I could cut it all off and have it really super short so it's easy, but it's a personal choice. <laughs> okay, so I really, really hope you've enjoyed that clip. I hope it's given you some some help there, some sort of things to, food to kind of thought about there if you're looking at growing your hair out. But would I recommend it? Yes, but it has to be right for you. Okay, thanks very much. Until next time, I'll be seeing you then. Bye for now.